Our saga unfolds on Earth, a cerulean orb floating in the endless cosmos, in an epic when mythology was a living truth and gods walked among mortals. In ancient Greece, a land of heroes and monsters, where mankind wove tales as rich and deep as the Aegean Sea, a hero emerged from the annals of myth, Theseus, a bold warrior destined to slay the horrific Minotaur. Today, we'll unravel his tale, an odyssey stretching across treacherous terrains and tumultuous seas. Theseus, born to Ethra, the daughter of King Pityus of Troezen, and Aegis, the king of Athens, was a boy marked by destiny. In some narratives, he was deemed the son of Poseidon, the sea god, because Aegis, doubtful of his fatherhood, had allowed Ethra to bet Poseidon. This divine parentage imbued Theseus with remarkable strength and intellect. Growing up far from the vibrant city of Athens in the quieter realm of Troezen, Theseus yearned for adventure. Aegis, upon leaving Ethra, had left his sword and sandals beneath a colossal rock, decreeing that their son would be ready to seek him out in Athens once he could lift the rock. As Theseus matured, he developed both in physical prowess and mental acuity. One day, he lifted the rock with relative ease and retrieved the sword and sandals. Acknowledging the call of his destiny, he embarked on a formidable journey to Athens. However, this voyage wasn't a leisurely sojourn. The road to Athens, known as the Isthmus, was infested with bandits and mythical beasts. Choosing this treacherous route over a safer sea voyage was a deliberate choice by Theseus. He sought to replicate and exceed the labors of his heroic cousin, Hercules, intending to use his journey as an opportunity to prove his mettle. He successfully navigated the hazardous route, relying on both his formidable strength and cunning when necessary. This journey, fraught with danger, marked the beginning of Theseus's evolution from a boy to a hero. Arriving in Athens, Theseus's tribulations were far from over. Medea, the infamous sorceress and wife of Aegeus, identified him before Aegeus could, and fearing his claim to the throne, attempted to poison him. However, Aegeus noticed his own sword on Theseus's belt just in time and knocked away the poisoned cup. Medea was banished, and Theseus was recognized as Aegeus's son and rightful heir to the Athenian throne. Despite his newly recognized status, another threat loomed over Athens. The city-state was under a grim curse. Every nine years, seven Athenian boys and girls were sent to Crete as a tribute to King Minos. These innocent souls were then fed to the Minotaur, a monstrous beast with the body of a man and the head of a bull, which resided within a labyrinthine maze. Revolted by this horrifying tale, Theseus was resolved to end this cruel practice. Volunteering as one of the tributes, he journeyed to Crete, determined to kill the Minotaur. Aegis, afraid for his son's life, made him promise to change the ship's black sails to white if he returned victorious, a signal of his survival. In Crete, Theseus encountered Ariadne, King Minos' daughter, who fell deeply in love with the Athenian hero. She decided to aid him by providing a magical ball of thread gifted by Daedalus, the labyrinth's architect. Theseus ventured into the labyrinth with this thread, leaving a trail behind him as he plunged into the foreboding maze. The labyrinth was a twisted architectural marvel, designed to confound and terrify anyone trapped within its confines. But Theseus, emboldened by his purpose, ventured deeper, undeterred by the monstrous fate that awaited him. Eventually, he came face to face with a minotaur. The creature, as grotesque and fierce as the stories depicted it, charged at Theseus, its eyes aflame with bestial fury. But Theseus stood his ground, his bravery unshaken. What ensued was an epic clash of man against beast, a test of sheer grit and raw power. Theseus's agility and strength proved superior. After a ferocious fight, he plunged his sword into the Minotaur, putting an end to its reign of terror. The beast, which had so long been a symbol of dread and despair, fell, vanquished by a mere mortal. With the Minotaur defeated, Theseus had to find his way out of the labyrinth, a task as daunting as slaying the beast itself. Yet Ariadne's magical thread 
which he had unwound behind him, provided a clear path back. Theseus emerged from the maze, his victory symbolizing the triumph of human courage over fear. His actions brought hope, not just to his own city, but to all of Greece, marking him as a true hero. His departure from Crete was not without its share of drama. Ariadne, now deeply enamored by Theseus, decided to abandon her home to be with him. They set sail for Athens, but stopped at the island of Naxos. Here, stories differ. Some say that Theseus cruelly abandoned Ariadne while she slept. Others claim that Dionysus, the god of wine, fell in love with her and convinced Theseus to leave her behind. Regardless of the truth, Theseus continued his journey back to Athens without Ariadne. Caught up in his victories and adventures, Theseus had forgotten his promise to his father. As he sailed towards Athens, the ships sailed remained black. Aegeus, waiting anxiously on the cliffs of Suinian, saw the ship from afar. The sight of the black sails, a symbol of his son's supposed demise, filled him with despair. In his grief, he threw himself into the sea, which came to be known as the Aegean Sea in his memory. Theseus' arrival in Athens was marred by the tragic news of his father's death. Racked with guilt and sorrow, he nevertheless assumed the mantle of King of Athens. His trials and adventures had prepared him for this role. He was no longer just Aegis' son, but a hero who had earned the respect and admiration of his people. His defeat of the Minotaur had cemented his status in the pantheon of legendary heroes. His reign in Athens was marked by prosperity and transformation. Theseus unified the disparate tribes of Attica, establishing Athens as a powerful city-state. He introduced democratic reforms and instated festivals, proving to be a wise and just ruler. But his life remained intertwined with a mythical. The abduction of Helen, leading to the eventual Trojan War and a perilous journey to the underworld, serving as reminders of his perpetual dance with destiny. As we delve into the story of Theseus, we're reminded of the timeless nature of these ancient Greek myths. These narratives continue to shape our understanding of bravery, sacrifice, and the indefatigable human spirit. Theseus, a hero who moved from obscurity to legend, embodies the extraordinary potential within each of us. His story is a testament to the courage and resolve inherent in all who dare to face their fears and fight against injustice. For Theseus wasn't just a slayer of a mythical beast, he was an emblem of hope, courage, and unwavering spirit that transcended his mortal existence, outliving the rise and fall of empires and the relentless ebb and flow of time itself. Even in the face of numerous trials and tragic losses, Theseus exhibited an unwavering dedication to his people and his principles. The hardships he faced, from the bandit-infested path to Athens, to the dark corridors of the labyrinth, honed his character, transforming him from a precocious youth to a respected hero. His life stands as a testament to the power of determination and the human capacity for courage in the face of overwhelming odds. Theseus' story also carries an inherent warning about hubris and forgetting one's duties amidst personal victories. His father's tragic death, due to his forgetfulness, serves as a stark reminder of the unintended consequences of our actions, no matter how noble our intentions might be. As much as Theseus' tale is about triumphant heroism, it also tells us about humility, about the importance of remembering our promises and fulfilling our duties. Beyond his heroic exploits, Theseus' legacy also lies in his leadership of Athens. His wise and democratic rule transformed Athens into a prosperous and united city-state, marking a new era in its history. His fair governance and efforts to uplift the lives of his people made him a beloved ruler, enhancing his heroic image with the wisdom of a statesman. Even after his death, Theseus' legend lived on influencing generations of heroes who came after him. His heroism continues to inspire us, reminding us of the courage that lies within each one of us, waiting to be awakened. In the labyrinth of our own lives, filled with challenges and monsters of different forms, his tale provides a beacon of hope and bravery. In Theseus, we see the best of humanity, courage, intelligence, resilience, 
and a relentless drive to stand against injustice. But we also see its flaws, forgetfulness, recklessness, and an occasional blindness to the consequences of one's actions. Through his strengths and weaknesses, Theseus serves as a mirror to our own potential and pitfalls, urging us to learn from his deeds and missteps. But his story isn't solely about individual growth and heroism. It also highlights the power of unity, cooperation, and love. His successful quest would not have been possible without the help of Ariadne, who provided him with the means to navigate the labyrinth. It was a combined effort, a shared victory, a testament to the power of partnership and the strength of love. So the tale of Theseus isn't just an adventure filled with heroic deeds and mythical monsters. It is a narrative of personal growth, of the consequences of our actions, of shared victories, and a symbol of human resilience. It's a story that resonates with us, centuries after it was first told, reminding us of the timeless lessons that myths carry within their hearts, of the eternal dance between man and destiny. And as we bid farewell to our hero, Theseus, we're reminded that his story is our story too, a story of facing our fears, overcoming our challenges, and rising above them, a story of becoming more than what we were, more than what we thought we could be, a story of embracing our humanity with all its glory and all its flaws, a story that reminds us that within every one of us, there's a hero waiting to rise, a story waiting to be told. And so, we carry the tale of Theseus forward, a tale as old as time, yet as new as tomorrow, a constant reminder of the indomitable spirit of humanity.